Hi, this is Pete Madsen for Acoustic Guitar, and I'm here to talk about my lesson on Skip James. Skip James was one of those pre-war blues men that was rediscovered in the 1960s by some of the blues revivalists. He recorded such songs as Devil Got My Woman, I'm So Glad, and Hard Time Killing For. Uh, those records originally were released uh, in 1931, but because of the Depression, which was going on at the time, uh, record sales were poor and he found himself uh, going back to work and ended up being a preacher in Dallas. What I'd like to do is uh, go through a couple of these early tunes, uh, specifically Devil Got My Woman and Hard Time Killing Floor, and just look at some of the licks, how he constructed them, and just try to get an ear for the haunting sound that we associate with Skip James. Uh, a big part of the sound was based on the tuning uh, he played in D minor tuning. You uh, may or may not be familiar with open D tuning. Uh, it would be D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. And if you are familiar, all you have to do to get to D minor tuning is tune your third string down a half step to F. But if we're coming from standard tuning, here's what you do. You tune the sixth string down a whole step to D. Uh, you leave the fifth string in A, leave the fourth string in D, uh, the third string will be tuned down to an F, a whole step to F, the second string tuned down a whole step to A, and the first string tuned down a whole step to D. So you've now tuned your guitar down to a D minor chord. That alone is, is pretty haunting sound. But as you'll see when we get into Skip James uh, playing, you really get this sense of a forlorn, kind of really deep, uh, a real deep blues sound. Um, so let's, let's jump into it. I want to do exercise one. I want to do example one, which is based on the song Devil Got My Woman, the intro. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So we start off with this two string shape, a dyad, uh, third, third fret on the uh, second string and fourth fret on the uh, third string. And basically what we're doing is we're moving that shape down one fret at a time. And then finishing off with a double hammer on it. So let me play that again. This is the intro to uh, Devil Got My Woman. One, two, three, four. Okay. We're keeping pretty much a steady bass pattern there on the sixth string, sometimes called dead thumb or monotonic bass, and that holds steady as we go down through our, our descending run there. An example two, this is later on in the intro. I'm gonna play that for you. One, two, three, four. I'm up here at the seventh fret and I'm barring three strings. These are all triplets that I'm playing. One, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, and that sets us up for the verse. In example three, I'll play the verse section. Um, goes like this. One, two, three, four. of this example it's almost like we're fretting up a D chord but we start with the uh, third finger off 
then bring it back down and then bring it back off again and then we go back to our lower bass, sixth string bass toggling back and forth between the third fret on the second string and the second fret. Let me play example three one more time. One, two, three, four. Example four is based on the ending of Devil Got My Woman, and it's comparatively a, a cheerier sound than the uh, previous examples. It goes like this. One, two, three, four, one. Again, we're barring three strings here. Uh, we're playing triplets. triplets on the open fifth and second string and walking up the uh, third and first string has that kind of the ending there is kind of unresolved kind of leaves you leaves you haunted okay so those were the examples for uh, devil got my woman the next set of examples we're going to be reflective of the song Hard Time Killing For. Okay, this is example five, and this is based on the intro of uh, Hard Time Killing For. You might notice by looking at the time signature here that you're in 12-8 time, and that can be a, little, be a little befuddling to some folks, um, but I like to think of it as um, just 4-4 four, four time, it's slowed down. And if you look at this, uh, the rhythm in the first bar, what we're doing, think of it as a shuffle. If a standard shuffle is dot, 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 dot. So anytime you see a quarter note and an eighth note, that is like, you can think of that as one beat. So let me play that again, it's counting as I go through it. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and. And then in the second bar, we're kind of losing, using these dotted quarter notes as the, the downbeat. One, two, three. And then you see those three eighth notes together and that's like a triplet. Let me play example five one more time. Okay. Moving on to example six. Uh, this is basically what he, uh, Skip James, would play uh, during the vocal line, the verse. There's not really a standard verse chorus kind of structure to this song. It just kind of goes on and on. But. Um, over the vocal line, this is what he would play. One, two, three, four. And this kind of really rolls along with this triplet feel. If you look at these, uh, each, each measure, well, let's look at the first measure. Three note cascading effect. That's the first three notes. Next three notes. So just look at that rhythm of that. And then we move back to the shuffle feel. Back to triplets. The little ending there is actually a segue into the next part of the song. And it's during this part that, that James just kind of moans the vocal. So 
he'll, he'll play that a couple of times through before he goes into the next verse line. Um, so that's the examples for Skip James. What I'd like to do now is play uh, something I came up with using these uh, examples from those two songs, Devil Got My Woman and Hard Time Killing For It, and play something I call Bad Times Coming. One, two, three, four. Okay, so uh, in the beginning of that, I took the line from uh, the intro to uh, Devil Got My Woman. In the next section, I also borrowed a little thing from Devil Got My Woman, but kind of played with it a little bit um, up at the seventh fret, uh, barring three strings. You had that, remember that? But then I do. It's probably making Skip James sound a little more jazzy than it should, but I don't know. It, it's kind of fun to do. And then we do this little slide into the fifth fret on the second string against the open first string. And in James fashion, sort of descend that line down to the third fret, second fret, first fret. Repeat that, and coming out of it, I walk just on the base of the fifth, sixth, and seventh fret, and back into the seventh fret. Um, Then descending down with this, this line again. So on the last four bars, I kind of double up here. I play the fifth fret on the fifth string and the fifth fret on the second string and strum through. And down to the third fret. Second fret. First fret. Play that again, but I play a little slower the second time. And then just strum through with your fretting that um, first string at the third fret. Uh, if you haven't heard Skip James, I, I heavily recommend that you listen to him. Uh, absorb them in your bones a little bit, I think. Uh, that's more important than actually sitting down to try to play these examples, but the next step is then learning those songs like Devil Got My Woman and Hard Time Killing Floor. Uh, very rewarding, haunting, great sound. Good luck. <laughs>